frozen in time, preserved for future generations. 13 million specimens now have a new home at the CSIRO's National Research Collections Building in Canberra. When we put all of those little snapshots together, then it puts together a picture of how Australia's biodiversity is changing and we can learn from those trends and potentially predict what's going to happen in the future. Named Diversity, the $90 million facility features temperature-controlled vaults that are bushfire and pest resistant. It brings the Australian National Wildlife and Insect Collections together under one roof. It will incredibly help with uh, how effective and efficient we are with managing collections and how much the collections are safer in here. New digitisation facilities will allow scientists to extract and share more information from research specimens than ever before. If we can't understand how things are changing over time, it's very hard to conserve things for the future. The official opening of the facility coincides with National Science Week, but also comes just a week after the community and public sector union warned hundreds of jobs were at risk of being axed from the agency this year. The CSIRO says it will be reviewing its whole science portfolio in September and would need to make hard choices, but won't say how many jobs could be affected. We have to be able to shape our workforce and choose the programs of research that we think will give the best impact to the Australian community for the problems that face us today and over the next 10 years. While the building won't be open to the public, the collections will be accessible to researchers, governments and citizen scientists worldwide. Monty Boval, ABC News, Canberra.